We're the Red Nest Day afternoon to you. Happy Red Nest Day. Thank you, Jason. It's Red Nest Day. Oh. Oh. It's no more. Uh, it's October no more. Get it October no more. November 1st. 23. Normal day. About 16 30 hours. I haven't done a vlog in days. Usual. You know, a little rusty as usual. I stopped. Maybe one day. Wednesday. I'm not really thrilled about it right now because uh, Wednesday is the day I believe we go up at home. For a couple of days before she comes back. Still. Resort to inside recording because the wind is very angry right now. It doesn't seem to want to be quiet while I'm taping. It's very rude. It was good though. So, I don't know, it's like I'm keeping at bay. Or something. I can feel it. Uh, I'm keeping it out. All right, it's getting to. Uh, okay, I'm gonna have to go inside the bowels of the fortress. Come with me to the bowels. Screwing around. I can't use this like that. Fuck. Well, welcome to the end of another day. I do say, with quite dismay. You know, it is the end of the day. The end of Wednesday, day, and it is approximately 22.45 hours, and uh, well, that's that, and uh, I think, if I remember correctly, I, earlier today, during when the sun was out, I did like a, a first part of this. Before this, probably, it's probably going to be like that. Uh, it's a good day, I guess. Not without its ups and downs. But that's like every day. Is it not? Yes, I agree. Some days seem to have a lot more ups. Other days seem to have a lot more down. Somewhere in the middle. 
However, let's let's let me stop uh, avoiding it and dancing around. Da -da -da -da. Dancing around the subject. Da -da -da -da. Goes, How was my day? The one who has the channel broadcasting it out. Right? I should focus on me. Uh, like I said, ups and downs, just about even. You call it even today. That's my judge's call for tonight for the day. It was about an even. Yeah, I, I didn't lose any. I didn't really gain any either. I stayed my ground. Uh, and that's very sad. It's always, you always one up a little. You know, no matter what, even if you don't feel like you're advanced, if you stay your ground, you one up a, at least a little. Um, so, I, you know, I did that. Did not go back to the gym because I'm not ready. And that is another story not for right now because it gets me pissed off. So let's just say something came in and I got derailed from my training and I missed, uh, uh, I want to say it, 10 days, 8 to 10 days. I'm coming back, I'm feeling better and better and better, stronger and stronger each day I wake up. Uh, and today I felt pretty good. Open tomorrow. I might get the green light for the gym. There we go. And even if I have the green light, I'll still go a little slow. Take it a little easy. You know, first day back, I finally learned. You know, you do no good going in there, going level 29 on your first day back and fucking blow something out uh, or internally uh make yourself sick or something uh from overdoing it there'll be time to over to do the train to do that later for the beginning the fuck that happened ultimately it was mine so i've got to fucking deal with it and suffer this fucking horror of training in a cycle fashion and then having it fucking all the momentum of everything stop On to another subject. What other subject? Just got back from bringing my girlfriend home. That's a subject. Uh, boy, I hate doing that. Uh, pretty soon we'll be living together. Uh, and that'll be cool. That'll be more than cool. That'll be completely awesome. Um, and then one for one, there'll be no more trips back and forth to Queens. Uh, when she does, even though she's staying here most of the time now, right? It's like we're pre trying it, you know? Like pre living in pre-living with each other it's just to see if it works. We have the chance to do it, so why not? You know, so we have it. And it's cool, but it sucks when she has to go back. For me, it sucks. You know? uh, it's a very different world. But now we've minimized it to two. Two days. And then, you know, I get bring back today, pick her up the day after. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. It's tolerable, but it still sucks. But anyway, getting back to us where I was today, so I just got back from that. That's always easily my most worst uh, drive of the week. The driver dropping her off, and then I get to come back alone uh, in, uh, to New York City and all this lovely traffic and everything. And back to my lovely old uh, fortress here uh, by my lonesome. So that's where I'm at now. I realize I have a chance here myself to steer myself in the right direction. I know I need to go in for something. And, and that is to take take charge of my myself and my schedule and my day and my week by taking charge of myself at night when it's time to fucking stop and go to bed. Uh, that I just start doing that. All my big experiment for this week is I'm just gonna start fucking making sure I go to bed fucking early, er, than what I normally do. My normal bedtime is there is no bedtime. I go to sleep when I, I my standard answer is that uh, I go to sleep when exhaustion ends up bludgeoning me to uh, death and to unconsciousness and sleep. I uh, go whenever I want. Usually it's anywhere. Uh, in, when I'm like, like that, it's usually always between minimum 3 a.m. Uh, and 
you know, extreme time would be like something like 7.30, 6 a.m. in my brother and so then, but or between three and five most of the time. But that's not conducive uh, for what I need to be doing now when you think things, uh, of course, I'm following. So I've got to change that, and it's a bitch. I've been in that rut for a while. But that's not an excuse for defeat or to give up each time. I try to change it each week, and each time I fail, it doesn't mean, oh, well, I tried it uh, three times, or I tried hard, or six times. No, you got to try it 386 times, however many times it needs until you get it. Well, that's the formula I use for the... Uh, things I want. So, so getting back to that, so I find something like uh, tonight, which is almost like a Sunday night in a way for me, I'm weird, but you know, we're pretty late, so I don't to say. Like at the start of your week, a Sunday night or something like, or whenever your week starts, and you start your new uh, sleep, and you just had a couple of days off. So that first night where you're so used to going to bed, like fuck between 12 and two or 12 and four, or whatever it is, whatever you want. Not, okay, fuck, it's 12.30, I gotta go fucking lay down. Sucks, I don't want to, you know, but, then you get to also get the benefit of getting up earlier, way earlier in the day, in the morning, and feeling more refreshed and getting more done thus that way. So that's what I'm in the process of shifting. And going from the wild road, get no schedule, nothing, to a little bit, a little bit of structure a little bit of uh, rules. So, there we have that. I read a short today on YouTube, and that's going to be it. I'm not doing any more today. I don't want to do this thing. I'll do more this week. The private lesson today was good. Shout out to Mr. Kevin. Yeah, I that that horrible feeling that has been plaguing me for the past couple of weeks, especially the past like two weeks, but really intensely last week. This feeling of uh, living, it's like uh, every day was, was like uh, living underwater. Where I go, but we're both living underwater, but we're you know, not, not able to get anyone or anything, and just uh, trying to exist in a world like that. I was uh, kind of rude today, uh, but kind of my girlfriend said to me to this uh, lady, we were sitting on the porch, and uh, me and her were sitting on the porch, just having a cigarette talking in the afternoon, and then these, these people, these like sales or people or something, uh, three of them, I can't get tell, like walk from door to door, come walking down the house the street, they walk past here, and they saw us in the front yard, on the porch, you know, and you gotta walk through the yard. Said this, so look, now they kind of pause, but finally one of them came, you know, and I was like, I was trying not to be annoyed, but it's fucking, this is ruined, I think, you know, fucking annoying. We're sitting here talking amongst ourselves, I feel like, really, what chances are we, we're not looking for what you're walking around selling hand to hand. Uh, I got a pretty good hunch about that. Uh, don't fucking bother me, you know. Uh, so I'm kind of giving that off, I'm not saying nothing, you know. Over as she starts so hi, you know, my girlfriend's right. I said, Hi, hey, hi, hi, yeah, I just like to talk to you about it. She pulls out this form thing, it has like a house on it, and rates and stuff. Uh, you know, if you you can get just for the rates and this on, on a house, I would stop. I stop, I said, Stop, 
stop right there. Uh, we don't own the house. You know, I, I don't own the house. They, we're not the owners. Pointless to talk another single word about this now. You know, we are not the owners. There's no way we can buy your stupid fucking thing or do it or whatever. You know, trying not to be mean, not saying all of that stuff, but I stood up. Okay, and so you finish real quick and left. And then my girl was like, wow, you're the, the quick or short or breakfast or something. I didn't know, I didn't really notice it. And then I went back and thought about it. She brought it up in there, right? So we have that. I don't know. Um, also, another thing I, I struggle with every year is uh, when seasons change and go from summer to fall. Well, I love the fall. Um, but the loss of the summer sun, the heat, all that. Since the winter, it's, like it's always been the hard work for me to take every year. You know, I, it affects me. I like it. I don't like it. I have to watch what I do extra until the transition time has taken its place and I've acclimated and then I'm good to go. And it hasn't yet, so I haven't been processing it yet. Highs and lows, highs and lows. Remember, boys, your highs and lows. You gotta hold on. We're on the low, okay, just remember, er, no low, just keep hanging on. There's only one place I can go from here, and that's up. I saw a video, a couple of videos on YouTube over this weekend, and they were uh, like archived uh, real videos uh, from the 1980s. In this, in the I guess mental institutions and uh, places like that, and hospitals, and they they have in like these uh, I don't know like a, it wasn't a session it was more like them on display uh, and the, all these different disorder people with these different disorders real people uh, on and then they come on and they like so uh, what brought you here to the hospital just to get them going. And then they just start talking, you know, uh, 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 like all of the shit. I mean, this, these people were, uh, whoa, I've no, I've been, I've been through a funny form or two, and this dude was hardcore. I'm telling me, this one guy, um, I've never seen anything like it. And uh, he comes in, he's, he's talking a mile a minute, you know, even though he's like out there, I mean, he's really stringing things together that are just like, uh, like, uh, yeah, yeah, you know, when I, uh, I took that flight and I took that plane down to Florida, I thought I got to Florida, the orange juice there was uh, not the kind I grow at my house. The kind I grow at my house uh, started to get really, really strong and nearly killed the cat and my neighbor's cat. And after that, there was just nothing but uh, all sorts of, uh, you know, green things coming out of the leaves, you know, like bizarre shit that is so non connected at all, you know. Right, so you're saying all this, uh, you're talking, smoking sir, and he's like, alright, you know, can I, and he stands up, he's like, you know, can I take this off? I'm, I'm hot here. He takes his uh, jacket off, dumps it on the ground, sits back, keeps talking. Uh, a few moments later, you know, can I take it? I'm getting hot here. So he takes it, he takes out, he's got a hospital gown stuffed into his pants, you know, full hospital white gown. So he just runs out of there. Huh? Because, uh, you know, uh, until he, he completely, like, strips, he's got all these layers on And he gets all the way down to, like, socks and these high shorts, and then, uh, whew, never saw anything like that. Trip. So, uh... I think one of the, the reasons too I come in and after I always drop her off I usually make a vlog and it's because I'm used to being you know with her and someone talking and you know not being alone and then I come back I'm alone so instinctively I look for not to be alone or something talk to connect with something or someone and uh, the video and the vlog is always there YouTube is always there To work with so for that i'm very thankful for it as always uh, i think i'm gonna wind this down
I think I'm going to go feed myself again. Okay, my my insatiable great white shark appetite yeah. is returning, so that's good. So I just finished a cheese double cheeseburger and some fries, and now I want a little more something. Let me go up. Relax. I'm going to really not try to put this video together and up tonight even though that would be great, good, maybe I will. But if not, I'll do it tomorrow. Either way now, I've done everything I'm supposed to, and now I've earned the time to sit down on my ass and relax upstairs and watch uh, a movie or something I should watch instead of brain from watching more and more YouTube videos because I have too much information and I make myself explode with it sometimes, but sometimes there's just nothing else to watch, so I, I, I default to YouTube. So with that, I'm going to end this. Thank you, everyone. Uh, I appreciate all of your subscribers very much. Thank you. I know I do not ask. I do not put myself to ask. I never could since the first time video but that's not mean anything against you it's just I don't know, something um, I really appreciate watching I do really appreciate the subscription and likes again but I'm not going to command it to the start of the video and of all these other instructions I'm not going to bash them that's just not me Jason